Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing a science project where you learn about all eight key moon phases. For this project, you're going to need some Oreos, a butter knife, and some construction paper. So first, what you want to do is take out eight Oreo cookies and carefully begin to separate them apart so they look like this. Next up, you want to take your construction paper and begin writing down the eight key phases of the moon, starting with the new moon. One. So once you've written down your eight key phases of the moon, now it's time for the fun part, where you'll begin scraping off the filling. First, we're going to start by making the crescent moon, and the filling should be pretty easy to scrape off. So what does all this waxing and waning mean when it comes to the moon? Well, waxing means that the illumination is growing or the moon is becoming more lit. And waning means that the illumination is shrinking or the moon is becoming less lit. So a new moon occurs, that's gonna be your cookie that's completely empty with no filling. The new moon occurs when the moon is positioned between the earth and the sun. After the new moon, you'll go into the waxing phases. So remember that waxing means growing until you get to the full moon. And that's when the moon, the sun, and the earth are all approximately in alignment. And after the full moon, the moon will start to become less illuminated, going into the waning phases until you're left with the waning crescent, and then it starts all over again. It usually takes approximately a one month. Our next full moon is on November 30th. It's known as the Beaver Moon. Until then, happy moon watching. Alicia Wilson, TMJ4 News. Alicia, how cool. Thank you very much. And I think kids will remember just using the cookies makes the lesson plan a little easier for the kids. Yeah, but if I was a kid, I wouldn't be able to get through that uh, project because I'd be eating all the cookies. Your, your moons would be in your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now